So what is going on guys, NandoPants93 here with another video and this one is gonna be an accessory review video on a mouse for the iPad Pro, the MX Anywhere 2S Logitech mouse. I've heard a lot of great things about this mouse, but one thing that I don't know and I didn't look up was whether or not it is compatible with iPad OS. So that's gonna be something that we learn. So we're gonna open this up. I already pre-opened it just so it's easy, but I wanted to show you guys the unboxing. So again, this is by Logitech. This one was $55 uh, retail. It does have a lot of great features. It's supposed to be very comfortable in the hand. Dual connectivity, so you can connect it to two computers at the same time. No, you're not, you're not connecting it to one computer that has two screens. You're connecting it to two different computers, which is nice. It does say Windows and Mac. It doesn't say anything about iPad, but this came out before when iPad OS became an official release, which it still has to this day. But it's supposed to have, you know, dark field, high precision tracking, fast rechargeable battery, which I believe is USB-C, but we'll double check with that. 70 days on one full charge, hyper fast scrolling, and sculpted compact shape. So the main thing is I want to be, I want to see if A, it even connects. B, if you can use all the functions that come with this mouse, like being able to use all the hotkeys. I know that there's a, a separate application that you can install for Windows and Mac which I am going to be honest, I do not think it's going to be on iPad OS, at least not at first. And it is both, you can use the dongle to connect it and it is also fully Bluetooth. And that's one of the main reasons why I got this because I wanted a mouse that was fully Bluetooth and I didn't have to have a USB connector, USB-A connector. But let's crack this guy open. Oh, so it is not USB-C, it is micro USB, guys. Look at that. Yep, micro USB. So that's already, I'm not liking that too, too much. But the packaging is pretty simple. Let's open this up. It is just a mouse. It's got a nice good weight to it. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. Again, micro USB right there. If it focuses. And it brings kind of a little, a quick start guide like right on the mouse itself. It, you just gotta turn it on, easy switch, connect in three seconds, and you can either do Bluetooth or use the, US, or the USB A dongle. So I'm gonna turn this thing on and see if it actually works. So ladies and gentlemen, we are connected. As you guys can see, you see the mouse in there. Here it is. And let's see what the buttons, how the buttons come pre-configured. So if you press on Chrome, if you press the middle scroll key, nothing happens. If you press, there's another button right here. So you guys can see, it takes you home. And one thing that I did notice, you do have to go to a different way to connect this, right? So it isn't just in the Bluetooth settings. So the scroll wheel works, which is nice, and it's pretty tactile, actually. It's a lot better than the mouse that I currently use. In order to connect it, you don't go through the regular Bluetooth. So now it's showing that it is there, but before, you had to go, first you had to go into accessibility, make sure that your touch, was assistive touch was on, right? And then what you had to do was, once it was on, you had to go to switch control, switches, and then connect it through here. For some reason, it didn't show up, and then it ended up pairing through the Bluetooth method, and now it's showing up, if I can see, it does show up right here on the Bluetooth, which is the MX Anywhere 2S. So after playing around with the mouse, at first I thought that only three of the buttons uh, were mapped, right? But actually, if you dive deep into the menu, right? I'm gonna start from the beginning here, and I'm gonna make an in-depth video on how to actually have the best experience when it comes to using a mouse with iPadOS, but just real quick, in order to customize everything, right? So I noticed, like I said, that this brings you back home, this is just a tap. This one actually brings up the, the menu, the assistive touch menu, the right click. But if you go down to devices and you click on MX Anywhere or the type of mouse that you're using, you can actually customize the other controls. So as you guys can see, there are one, two, this is a button itself, three, four, five, and then this one, so there's six buttons, right? So what I did with this button, which is button five, is it actually, you can customize it, do whatever you want. And if you wanna add, I haven't added the other one, but if you wanna add, all you do is it says, press a button on your pointer device to choose action. So I'll press on this one. And you can decide what you want it to do. You can do, every time I press that button, I'm gonna make it take a screenshot, right? So let's go back, back home. So as you guys can see, this takes me home. And if I press this button, let's see if it takes a screenshot. So it took a screenshot, guys, that's awesome. So move that to the side. Like I said, this one brings the assistive touch. It does feel really, really good in the hand. And I'm gonna to try to show you guys better if I bring this down. As you guys can see, this is 
very easily coverable. I love how it's purely Bluetooth. I also love how the battery indicator shows up right here. So you know exactly how much battery is in each Bluetooth device. So bridge keyboard, Apple Pencil, iPad, etc. And overall, this is a very comfortable mouse. I like this a lot. I think this is gonna be a big upgrade in terms of what I currently use. I use like a very generic Microsoft mouse with the dongle only. So let's say I could also use this with my current Dell computer at work with the dongle that it comes with, or I can even Bluetooth connect it if I really wanted to. But overall, this is really cool. Um, if I press, I mapped it. So if I press this button right here, it locks the screen. As you can see, it does. And overall, this is a really nice mouse. I highly recommend it. I'll link it below if you guys wanna give it a shot. And for a Logitech mouse to be under that like 75 to 100 price point is really, really rare. Cause a lot of these Logitech mouses are much bigger. They got a lot of hotkeys. You know, it's very customizable. And again, if you wanna use this, you'll get more bang for your buck if you do have this on, let's say a Mac, a regular Mac or regular Windows, because there's an application that lets you map different things unless you get really in depth with the customization. For an iPad OS device, overall the customization is not that, that limiting, which is nice. So that's gonna do for this video. Hopefully this helps somebody make a decision in terms of what mouse to get with your iPad Pro. And until next time guys, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. I'll definitely still announce the winner of this bridge keyboard next week. And, I'm definitely gonna, and then I'm also gonna do a review on one week with the bridge keyboard. And so far I've been liking it. There have been a couple things which I'm gonna talk about a little more in depth, but I'll touch on that video later. So until next time, peace.